Previously on Wake For Me, we were working on our teak and uh, I explained the process that I was using to fix a rather severe crack and a gap in this particular piece of the cap rail. If it proves to be successful, I'm confident it will be, I'm going to do the same thing on my bowsprit platforms. So let's have a look and see how it turned out, shall we? Well, I put paper on the uh, on the patch job to cover it up and protect my clamps from getting stuck. So I'm going to plane it down now and see what it looks like. Stand by. There's my inlay. And that looks a far sight better than it used to. There's a little bit of teak inlaid in there. I think I probably took planed off too much wood here than I wanted to, but uh, I've accomplished what I set out to do. And I think that looks marvelous. So I'm going to have to um, drizzle some epoxy in the gaps where the uh, filler didn't take. I'll use some thin stuff, stick that in there. And uh, we'll call that a success. Yeah. And there's the second piece, that divot right there. So I've got to sand this down, sand that up. But I would say another success. Looking good. <clears throat> The plan. What I've done is to take just a piece of scrap and I've screwed it down to the table around the platform. The reason I'm doing this is because the router base is too wide. If I put the router on here and try to router, the, uh, the platform of the router butts up against this tow rail here. And it won't let me go far enough in to router a line along that massive crack. So I could take the tow rail off, but it is screwed on with um, standard screws that are behind bungs. I tried to take one off the uh, other day, and it was a complete disaster. The uh, bung didn't come out completely properly. It must be glued in or something and the standard screw stripped and I never did get it out. So I uh, glued the front end without actually taking the tow rail off. So I think taking the tow rail off is not an option. So I put this on here to raise the level um, and the, the router should now, it does span both the scrap and the tow rail and it'll go deep enough to cut a line straight. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of scrap along that piece of scrap in order to create a fence so it will do a nice straight line so that when I cut my uh, donor piece to fit in there, I can cut it straight and it'll just sit in. That's the plan. Now, remember, I am not a uh, woodworking guru. This is kind of experimental. don't really know what I'm doing, so don't laugh. And if you do know what you're doing and you see all the mistakes I'm making, be kind. Write helpful notes so that other people can uh, take note and do it properly. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, 
forge ahead and hopefully not to make, make too much of a mess. All right, we're off. So with a bit of fussing and clamping and measuring and remeasuring, I managed to router out the damaged portion of teak. Um, it's not perfect. Um, it's still split at the bottom, but I'm going to lay a little bit of a glass mat in there to cover up the divots and holes and what have you, tie it together. And I'm going to cut a donor piece to fit in there. Um, it will not fill entirely because I'm going to cut the donor piece square where this is round. And uh, that should satisfy the eye and the strength requirements for the bowsprit platform. Very exciting. Well, I cut my donor piece of teak, test fit it into the groove I cut with my router. Perfection. Other than the uh, gouge I actually accidentally took out with the router, it, it um, bit into something and bounced and uh, so it left that. And then the right at the end there, I don't know if you can see that, right there, that was a router accident. And right in here, I knew that it was going to do that. Um, but I wasn't too horribly concerned because I'm just going to flip with epoxy. This is where the uh, chain runs over for the um, anchor. So I'm going to build that up with a little bit of glass, put some glass in there, put glass underneath this. And uh, tomorrow we should have a nicely repaired. Boom. Bowsprit platform. So here we have our inlaid piece of teak. It's been epoxied in. I laid some uh, glass mat down underneath. You can see the end of it right in there. And then I wet that out, inserted my donor piece, uh, put in some adhesive filler on the sides and underneath, clamped it, hammered it flat, and once that hardens up, I should have a almost repaired bowsprit platform. I'll have to fill this and uh, put some glass over here, fix that mess up, sand it down, and we're all good. So the battery on the GoPro is about to run out, so I'm going to um, quit filming now, uh, but I'm not done yet. I've got to uh, clean up, obviously, and I'm also going to do uh, a little bit of grinding on the back end of the boat. I'm going to grind down the epoxy that I filled the bolt holes for the boomkin beams. And if the weather holds and I have time, I'm going to drill them out. Very exciting. Very exciting. Don't you wish you had a boat? <laughs>